if you wanted a Windows 95 gaming config, then this is for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 95 A, B, or C. Click on New. Name it Windows 95 A, B, or C. I'm going to name it C. For the machine, you can pick either any of the Socket 7 if you want to install it on a Pentium NMX, or you can do a Gigabyte GA686BX for the Pentium 2. So, I'm going to do the Pentium 2 for this video. You can pick any of these, but I would recommend running it 233. Video card, you can pick either BTI or the 3DFX Voodoo 3. I recommend the Voodoo 3 because it's best for games. For the game card, you can do Voodoo 2 and enable SLI. For the sound, I would pick a Sound Blaster 16 and a WE32. Mm. For the network, you don't have to do networking, but if you want to, select Real Tech. If you want a gaming speed, I recommend giving it an 80 gigabyte hard drive. But for this video, you can put in how much cylinders you want. Place it on a very good spot. I'm going to put it under configs on PCEM. And or whatever you want. Click save and then click OK. It's going to create the drive. And when it's done, it says drive created. Remember to partition and format the new hard drive. Click OK. Click OK and then hit the load button. Go to delete and insert your Windows 95 boot disk immediately. You can use a Windows 98 boot disk, which is strongly recommended for copying over the tabs. And when you're in the BIOS, go to BIOS Features, and you want to set the boot sequence to A. A as in floppy, and notice report no FDD for Win95. That is enabled because this mechanism can support Windows 95. Save and exit. Save CMOS and exit. You want to say yes. And hit enter. It's going to boot to the Windows 98 floppy. Start computer without CD-ROM support.
All right. You want to type in app disk. If you want to wish, it asks you if you want to enable large disk support. You want to say yes to that. Create DOS partition or logical DOS drive. Create primary DOS partition. And it, if it asks you this, say yes to that. And it says you must restart the system for your changes to take effect. Go up to system and press Control Alt Delete. This time, you want to start the computer with CD-ROM support. And then prepare to start. Okay, diagnostic tools were successfully loaded to drive D, and the drive letter is E, so you may need to remember this. And from here, you want to type in format C colon backslash S. This will make the drive bootable. Hit enter. Warning, all data on non-removable disk drive C will be lost to serial format. Confirm Y and hit enter. So I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, when it's done, you can type in a volume label or enter for none. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, that's fine, but I'm not going to. Next is copying the cat files to the C drive. Now, if you go to the E drive and type dir slash w, the cat files are located in the Win95 folder. So, follow me when you must follow this instructions because the Win95 cat files to the C drive will Help you install the OS because the cap files are very important. So, you want to go to C, you're going to type MD Windows, copy the same command except type backwards slash options, and then type the same thing tabs and the directory is windows options cabs and type copy e colon backslash win 95 star dot star and hit enter and it's going to copy all the cab files to the c drive so I'll be back when this is done. Okay, with the cap files done, you can now remove the Windows 98 boot floppy and remove the Windows 95 CD. Go to system and hit control alt delete. And since we made the C drive bootable, you just saw a split second of the Windows 98 splash screen. The next step is go to C Windows options backslash cabs and type setup. With the IS option. The IS option 
steps the scan disk option. So you want to hit enter. Welcome to Windows 95 setup. Congratulations on your choice of Windows 95, the newest and easiest way to do what you do with your PC. Setup will take 30 to 60 minutes depending on the speed of your computer. To begin setup, click continue. Click continue. And now it's preparing the Windows 95 startup wizard. Say yes to the license agreement. The first step is collecting information about your computer. Click next. It says, select the directory. It says C colon windows dot zero zero zero, but we're going to fix that. To fix that, go to other directory, click next, and remove the three zeros, including the period before it. Click next. It says the directory of C windows already exists. If you continue files in this directory, may be overwritten. Do you want to continue with the specified directory? Click yes. The tab files are in the C drive. And now we have setup options here. Typical, portable, compact, or custom. If you want to do the game, if you want to use it for games, click custom, and then click next. Then you have to type in the product key, so let me type it in off screen. And you can find the product key on WinWorld PC. And after you type in the product key, is the user information. Type in your name and the company if you have one. Click Next. Analyzing. It asks if Setup wants to look. Say yes. And you want to enable. CD-ROM drive, network adapter, and sound. Click next. And now it's analyzing the PC. All right, with the analyzing step done, you have to select the components. For gaming, I recommend all access, all accessories, no to communications, no to disk tools, no to Microsoft fax. You want all the multimedia and no to Windows messaging. Click next. Network components, you don't need to type in any of that. Click next. Click next. Startup disk is not necessary, so select no. I do not want a startup disk. And now it's going to copy file, so click next. Welcome. Oh, that was fast. And now it's going to copy the files over. Best reason to have Windows 95 is if you want to play some of your old Windows 95 games. Or DOS games like Doom.
Doom 2, or Wolfenstein 3D, or any other DOS games. And yes, again, showing the facts of Windows 95 while it's copying the files. That is if you're interested in reading them. Register now. There's no way you can register Windows 95 now because support ended on December 31st, 2001. but it is useful for old games. And now it's gonna Restart the computer and finishing setup, so click finish. Getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. Since we installed, if you installed from the C drive, you shouldn't worry about inserting Windows 95 CD error. If you started off the CD-ROM, you have to redirect it to C Windows Options tabs. If you didn't, then you have to go back to the flop. Insert your boot floppy and copy the cap files to the C drive. But if you install from the C drive, you shouldn't worry. Set up your time zone where you live in. Click close, and it gives you an app printer user. We're not going to install one, so click cancel. Setup has finished configuring your system. You must restart your computer before the new settings take effect. Click OK to start your computer now. Click OK. So that means you completed the setup. The next step is installing the drivers. So wait for it to go to the desktop. I love that sound, and this is the setup for Internet Explorer 4. So, you have to let this install before installing drivers, so click Next. Select the region you live in, click Next. And it's going to install Internet Explorer 4, so I'll be right back when this is done. If you get the January 4th, 1980 
as your time and date because it is but if you get that error there is a way to fix that i'll show you what it is when we are done with the internet explorer 4 install if internet explorer is done and now to fix the January 4th, 1980 time and date, insert this ISO to the CD-ROM. The Windows 95 Year 2000 Update. So, click OEM Windows 95 Year 2000 Update. Say yes to the license agreement. And it says you have to install Internet Explorer for Service Pack 2. So, click OK. Go through the same process as the previous Internet Explorer FAR 4 install. I'm going to do the full install. After installing Internet Explorer 4 Service Pack 2, you'll get a reboot if you heard that. Ta-da! After you press OK to restart. With that startup sound, Windows is setting up the following items. So, when you get to the desktop, okay. It gives you a message about the all auto messenger disk pack. It asks you if you want to start. Click yes. After that reboot, it's gonna take you back to the desktop. I'm still not done fixing the January 4th, 1980 BIOS. You have to go on Start, Run, Open, D, Auto Run. Click OK. Click OEM Windows 95 Year 2000 Update. Say yes to the license agreement. This program will update the year 2000 support within Windows 95. Do you want to continue? Yes. And now it's going to ask for a reboot. And after the reboot... It says January 4th, 19. Hmm. It's weird. You didn't fix it. Here's how you fix it. Type in your the current time and date just simply synchronize it to the current time and date if it didn't pick it up 
just sync it to the current time and date. And now, we can finally install the drivers. Insert your PC EM Utilities ISO. Go on my computer, and you'll notice the Internet Explorer gives the explorer.exe Windows 98 lookalike. So that means it won't open Windows when you open a certain folder. So you want to go on my computer, the CD drive, Win95. But we're going to start with the VDFX Voodoo 3 driver. So we're going to click L Setup. I set up. If it gives you this error, here's how you fix it. Try the 3 dfs and a fine installer. But if it doesn't, you have to install the driver manually. So go on properties, settings, advanced properties, change. Tap disk. Browse. Browse it to D, Win95, 3DFX, Voo, Driver 9X, and then click OK. Click OK. Click OK. I'm going to copy the files to the C drive. Then click OK. So you and if you change it to sixteen bit, it's gonna ask for a reboot. Yes. And after the reboot. No more 16 colors. Looks more better than the 16 colors. You can show the icons on the taskbar if you want, but I'm going to change it back to 800. By 600 for the picture. Next step is the Voodoo 3. Go to the same Windows 95 directory from your PCEM Utilities ISO. And that themes folder is the replacement for the plus theme, which we'll get to in a moment, so I'm going to copy that to the desktop. And to install Voodoo 2, click Voodoo2.exe. Click OK. Uncheck that, because we're going to change the path that looks more appropriate. So we're going to change the path to C, Drivers, Voodoo 2. Unzip, click OK and hit close, and you have to install it manually. Go to my right click my computer and click properties, device manager, over devices, PCI multimedia device, click properties, 
driver, update driver, you want Windows to search for the driver, say yes for recommended and click next. Go to other locations and type in the path you extracted the Voodoo 2 drivers. Click OK and then click finish. And of course, Windows 95 gets their disks wrong. Please insert disk label Voodoo 2 drivers for Win9X and click OK. Means you have to redirect it to the correct path. So apparently Windows 95 likes to get their disks wrong. Say yes for a version conflict. We'll restart later. And we're going to install the networking. You see my Ethernet controller, properties, driver, update driver, yes, other locations, browse, and go to the DVD CD drive, Win95, network. Win95, and then click OK. Click OK, and then click Finish. And you must provide computer and work net group names that will identify this computer in the network. Click OK. For computer name, you can name it Pentium 295 and the work group, you just type in work group. Close. And of course, it always gets their disks wrong. So to fix it, it can be either in the caps file or The network driver. And now it's going to ask for the cap files. So, if it asks for the caps file, copy files from C, Windows, Options, Caps, and then click OK. I don't know why Windows 95 gets the floppies wrong or their CDs wrong. Say yes to keeping this file. And The next step is the USB. So that means you have to go to View, Folder Options, Show All Files, go to My Computer, C, Drivers. I'm going to make a new folder called USB. Copy all the files to the USB folder. Settings, Control Panel, Add New Hardware. Next, you want Windows to search for the new hardware, you can do select No.
can do yes if you want. But I'm going to do no. Go to other device. Multi-function adapters. You want to have disk. Then click OK. OK, this isn't right. OK, so I did yes to manually install a specific, it says you have to install it manually, so click next. I'm, I'm going to do other devices to see if that works. Have disk. See if that works. Well, well that worked. So to install USB, you have to set the installer as other devices. That is the important step of installing drive the USB on Windows 95. Next, click finish. We'll reboot later because the next step is DirectX 8. Go to the DirectX 8 folder and click the DX setup. Want EXE. Say yes to the license agreement. Click install. Okay, when the DirectX 8 setup is done, it's going to ask for a reboot, so press OK to restart. So yeah, since you installed the network, type in a username if you have one. Type in a password if you want to, and then click OK. Press OK if you confirm the password. And there are other things you can install in the Win95 folder. You can also install CPU ID. I don't know why it reverts back to 1980. Don't worry about that. Go to my computer. Oh. Or. Click Adobe Reader 4. This will install Adobe Reader 4. This app is PC friendly, but unfortunately, you can't install it on PCEM because PCEM does not support DVDs. Hopefully PCEM, there will be a version of PCEM where it supports DVD ROMs. So that way you can install DVD ROMs on Windows 95. You can also install QuickTime. You can do version 4 or version 5. I'm going to do version 4. Very quick program to install. Okay, 
that. For some reason, if it doesn't install, then you're going to have to grab QuickTime from a game ISO from Internet Archive, and you'll have to install QuickTime from there. Because it'll work better. This is an Internet Explorer 5.5, the last version of Internet Explorer to support Windows 95. And if you install DirectX 8, boom, you get a free DFX V2 1000. Set your wallpaper to whatever you want. I like the cloud, so set it as the clouds. And final step to install Windows 95. Microsoft Plus, the Plus upgrade for Windows 95 will enhance your Windows 95 PC, any PC. Install Plus, click Continue, click OK, type in the CD key, and if you're doing a gaming PC, have to use custom and because there are some things that you don't want. You don't want drive space, system agent, internet jumpstart kit, or dial up networking server. Click continue. I'm going to copy all the files. Update the system. It will now open a desktop means window that means if you click any desktop menu you want. This is the old version. We're gonna change that after we reboot. I'm gonna do the inside your computer because it is a pretty cool kind of theme. Click OK. Gonna restart the computer, so click restart Windows. And the final, and the, now we're gonna replace the. the plus themes dot exe on the directory. You can find this from. Theme world or from your Windows Plus for Kids CD or ISO. So to fix it, you have go to C Program Files Plus. Take this themes on the desktop, and you want to move here and. 
I'm going to say yes. And it asks to replace. Click yes. And it's much newer. And to install CPU ID, which is on the PCEM Utilities CD, go to my computer, PCEM Utilities, click on CPU ID, go to my computer, C, I'm going to create a new folder called CPU ID. Copy the two files into that folder. Click on CPU ID. Click CPU Win9x.exe and there you go. It catches your information about the computer. And there you go. You now have a Windows 95 gaming computer. So, I'll see you on Windows 95D. And, for some reason, the system property says it's a Pentium Pro, but it is corrected on CPU ID and DX Diag. Let's see, DX Diag corrects it. So stay tuned for how to install Windows 95 D Lite on PC EM. So see you then.